First thing for Sharpshooter is their grenade, and Sharpshooter has a really, really good grenade. This one's probably like ARS tier as well for a grenade. It's very good. You can freeze enemies with it. You can potentially hurt yourself with it, which isn't that cool. But freezing big enemies like Flesh Bounds and Scrakes is really good, and you can technically have the most of these with six. Uh, survivalists can't have them, sadly. It'd be really cool if Survivalists could, but they are a really good grenade to start us out with uh, Sharpshooter. And since we are starting with Sharpshooter, I guess we already have to talk about the Winchester, since it's already up here. Winchester is probably A or S tier 4 Sharpshooter. It's really good. Does high damage. You get it right at the start. I I'm actually just going to move it right up to S tier. I think it's good enough to be up there. Upgrades are amazing for it, and it has really nice sights. There's just nothing really to complain about besides the reload speed. It does have somewhat of a slow reload, but Sharpshooter can kind of make up for that. And since the center fire is up here, we'll talk about this one too. Center fire, I would also say, is S tier. Both of these would probably be S tier for survivalists as well, by the way, because they just do a ton of damage, a lot of damage per second. They're also really good with upgrades. They're, they're actually really, really good with upgrades. And they have nice sights. They're both amazing weapons. The um, center fire is really good. Even if you're not hitting headshots, it'll still clear up all the small and medium guys very quickly. Big guys that can just completely wreck with a couple upgrades into it. It just destroys flesh pounds and scrags. Again, since we have some of these other options up here, let's talk about them that are for sharpshooter. First up with a single 1858. I think I'd actually move this one up for sharpshooter. It's actually okay on Sharpshooter to just grab one of these early on if you need more ammo. The 1858 is decent. It does decent damage. It has okay sights. It scales well with upgrades if you want to throw upgrades into it. And you can take it with any loadout. So if you want to take this into Winchester right away, that's a really good option if you just want to be saving up quite a bit of money to go to one of your tier fours or something. Spitfire would be even lower. Uh, Spitfire, I think, is like up here in A tier for Firebug. Or no, it's B tier. But I would probably move this down to like D tier for a sharpshooter. It's pretty bad. There's no real reason to take it over the 1858 unless you just want the fire. It costs more. It's, it actually scales well with upgrades, which is nice. But it's just weaker than the 1858 in basically every way. Same type of thing goes with Survivalist. And then we also have the other pistol up here, which is the 500 Magnum, which I'd still probably put into A tier for sharpshooter. Does good damage, good damage per second, reloads quick, has nice sights, and uh, it only weighs three. That's a huge bonus because you can take anything else with it with Sharpshooter. Crossbow I'm going to say is like B tier. Crossbow is pretty good. It's very cheap. It's really good on certain maps where you can just constantly get your bolts back. It has a high chance of stunning. It upgrades really well. It can be paired with basically anything and do well as just your single target cleanup stuff. And then use whatever your other weapon is for clearing up smaller things. So it can be good with like the M14 or the FAL if you want to take those ones. Also really good on Survivalist and pretty good on other classes too as an off perk weapon on certain maps. So probably also B tier for them. The Mosin, I'm going to say is A tier. Mosin's pretty awesome. You can block and parry with it, which is great. You can stab with it if you need to. So you can clear up smaller enemies with it. That's really cool. Sights are nice. Does high damage. Has kind of a slow rate of fire, sort of. It's very fast for a Mosin compared to other games, but slower compared to uh, some of the weapons that we have in this. And uh, for a tier 3 that weighs like 7, this one's actually really good. I like it overall. M14 I'm also going to put up into A tier, maybe S tier. M14 is pretty good on Sharpshooter. You can spam it. It's pretty good with rack em up. I do like it with the center firing combination. For the longest time, I kind of flip-flopped on the M14 and still just sort of do because for its role as like a sniper rifle for picking off big things, it's not really the best at that, at least the way that Sharpshooter seems to be set up to just hit something really hard with a single shot. But for spam firing, it's actually pretty good. And if you have something like the center fire, you can spam fire this at all the small stuff and then just use the center fire for big things or use like the Mosin for big things. That works really well too. So A tier seems fair for it. M14 also on Survivalist is pretty decent. It's probably like B or C tier. Same with the Mosin. They're a bit expensive. This one at least you can melee with, which is nice and block with so that one's a little bit higher but this one's probably a bit lower just because for like the weight you could buy like the m4 and you'd have it like at the same weight same price actually a little bit lighter and probably have a better weapon overall so not as great for them but pretty good on sharpshooter headhunters up next and this one i'm gonna say is like d tier for sharpshooter it is so awkward to use it does actually decent damage per shot and its secondary fire lets you explode stuff and stun it which is kind of weird. It's more like a support tool for Sharpshooter, which I, I'm of the opinion that Sharpshooter probably shouldn't be a support class. It should be a big Zed killing class that kind of needs things to support it. So this is much better on Survivalist or on like Medic, where you can actually make something's head big that's of like high value, like a Scrake or a Fleshbound, and then Sharpshooter can kill it easier. 
it it doesn't really help that sharpshooter has this one so yeah i i'd put it there i i would probably move it up for like survivalist or medic though as an off perk weapon probably like c or b tier because at least it has some purpose then the beluga beat i'm gonna put into like b tier as well it's so awkward as well maybe i'll actually move this one down to c tier i don't think it's as good as the crossbow this one um it's good for bullying enemies and it's good for a supportive role so again it's okay on like medic and survivalist but on Sharpshooter, it's just so strange. Its secondary fire does let you have decent damage at longer range, which is why I'm not going to put it into the D tier. But man, this one this one feels weird. I don't really like it on uh, Sharpshooter that much. Next weapon we got is the HV Storm Cannon. This is a DLC weapon, and this one's actually pretty good. This one does decent damage. If you hit something in the head, it arcs lightning to other enemies. It's actually really good for clearing up small enemies. It's decent for killing big enemies. This one I'm going to put like A tier. Its weight is a little bit awkward for me, but I do like it overall. So uh, its zoom is a little bit awkward too. It's okay on like survivalist as well if you want to take it there. I'd probably say it's a little bit lower at like B or C tier for them. Railgun is probably like S tier. This one's really strong. It's probably like A tier on survivalist, but on sharpshooter S tier. Does high damage, can do really high damage per second if you're reload canceling pretty often. Make sure to take off the uh, auto focus or the auto lock on. Auto lock on halves your damage, which is just not good for this one. This one hits really hard and it does weigh a decent amount, but it still allows you to take something like the Winchester or the center fire with it, which is really good. We also, since we're up here, we have to talk about the FAL again, which is an S tier for commando and probably A or S tier for survivalist. It's probably also A or S tier for sharpshooter. It's a really good weapon. It's basically a full auto M14, same ACOG sight on it, still can be fired in semi-auto. Still does about the same amount of damage, a little bit more DPS. So yeah, just a really good option. Basically the same thing goes for this as for the M14. Then we move on to our tier five weapons where we have the compound bow. Compound bow is like B tier as well. It's basically like the same as the crossbow, but you can punch with it and stab stuff and it has ice arrows. It's just a lot more expensive and heavier. Crossbow actually scales better with upgrades. So the crossbow actually gets better than this one if you want to upgrade it all the way which is kind of funny. You could take both if you'd like. That's kind of a fun loadout, but not really a strong one because small things kind of give you issues then. But compound bow, pretty good. I like it. And then we have the big old 50 cal, which the 50 cal I'm just going to say is like C tier. It's just not really worth taking. It's similar to like the minigun. It weighs way too much. This thing weighs 12. You can take one of your other handguns with it and that's it. And it's not that great. It's not that much better than the railgun in terms of practical damage. Yeah, it's fun to use on like boss wave and it's a fun weapon to use overall, but it's it's really not worth the weight and worth the cost. Same thing goes with like survivalist. It's actually a little bit better on survivalist, but still not that much. I would still say it's like C tier just because it's a weapon that you pick if you want to hit something really hard and you kind of have better options for that, like just taking the kaboom stick if you're doing that with uh, survivalist. And then I guess we got to talk about the Corruptor Carbine again, which I don't know where I put that one. I thought I'd put it like A tier for medic might be up here somewhere oh it's right there for medic i would also probably keep this one just a tier for sharpshooter as well it's good it's a healing option which is nice the sniper rifle portion of it is good it does good damage it doesn't weigh too much nothing really to complain about the corruptor carbine i think it's kind of just on par with the rest of these sort of like a tier ish rifles they're all really nice 